The universe appears to be 13.8 billion years old. Earth is like four and a half billion years old. You know, in another half billion years or so, the sun will expand and probably evaporate the oceans and make life impossible on Earth, which means that if it had taken consciousness 10% longer to evolve, it would never have evolved at all. It's 10% longer. And I wonder, I wonder how many dead one planet civilizations there are out there in the cosmos that never made it to the other planet and ultimately extinguished themselves or were destroyed by external factors. Look again at that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you've ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor, and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on a mode of dust suspended in a sunbeam. Our planet is a lonely speck in the great enveloping cosmic dark. In our obscurity, in all this vastness, there is no hint that help will come from elsewhere to save us from ourselves. The Earth is the only world known so far to harbor life. There is nowhere else, at least in the near future, to which our species could migrate. This is not true. <laughs> there, there, there are really two fundamental paths. History is going to bifurcate along two directions. One, one, one path is we stay on Earth forever, um, and then there will be some eventual extinction event. Um, I, I don't have an immediate doomsday prophecy, but there's, it's eventually history suggests there will be some, some doomsday event. Uh, well, the alternative is to become a space-faring civilization and a multi-planet species, which uh, I hope you would agree that is the right way to go. We should be concerned about demographic implosion. So if you look at countries like Japan, most of Europe, China, and you look at the birth rates in a lot of those places is only at about half of the sustaining rates. When you have an inverted demographic pyramid, so if you like, look at the, the pyramid, you've got age creation. 60 year olds, 50 year olds, 40 year olds, 20 year olds, you know, like sort of a demographic pr pyramid. Right. Um, and in some countries, it's sort of, it's like an upside down pyramid. So it'll sort of fall over. It's like, it's, it will not, will not stand. What we'll actually have in those countries is a very high dependency ratio, where the number of people who are retired is, is very high relative to the number of people who are net, net producers. And so you cannot, the, the, the social safety net will not hold. We didn't evolve for this, because we sort of evolved to just always procreate, and there wasn't birth control or anything. Right. We just like have lots of babies. It's like pop, of course, and like hopefully some of them would survive. That would be, that was like all of human history until very recently. And now it's, uh, you know, you've got cases like Japan where adult diapers outsell baby diapers. Europe's in a similar situation. China's headed the same way because you know they've had the one-child policy and then even though they've relieved the one-child policy, the social norm has become to have an average of one kid. So even when they relieved that requirement, it didn't change. You can, you can imagine, like people sometimes say, well, what about um, immigration? It's like, okay, look, there's one and a half billion people in China. Where is China going to get 700 million new people? Okay, that's like three Indonesias. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't work. And the, the full gravity of this will, it is not well understood, but will become a severe, severe issue in the, in the next few decades. So civilization here on Earth could end with a bang or a whimper. Um, but it could it also be like a whole series of things. Like, so like what killed the dinosaurs? Well, right. it wasn't just one thing, you know? Right. There was like a whole bunch of things happened in a row. They, they could have taken any one of those things. They had like three things happen and no dinosaurs. If the species is going to survive, yeah. we kind of have to escape. It's mostly about the species. I mean, uh, there have been some real doozies of like, uh, you know, massive meteors and super volcanoes and continents moved all over the place and Earth's been a snowball and super hot. It, it, the, if, if you read like the geological history of Earth, it's like very long and complicated. Um, so 
and then there have been so many extinction events, not like just a few. Galactic timescale, even with satellite travel, you could absolutely colonize the whole galaxy, even some of the neighboring galaxies. Could you colonize the galaxy in a million years? Absolutely, the entire galaxy. Why do we need to build a city on Mars with a million people on it? Yeah, I think it's important to have um, a future that is inspiring and appealing. I mean, I just think that there, like, there have to be reasons that you get up in the morning and you want to live. Like, why do you want to live? What, what's the point? What, what inspires you? What, what do you love about the future? And if, if we're not out there, if the future does not include being out there among the stars uh, and being a multi-planet species, I find that, in, that it's incredibly depressing. If that's not the future that we're going to have, if you look at the, the progress in space. In 1969, we were able to send somebody to the moon. 1969. Mm. Um, then we had the, the space shuttle. The, the space shuttle could only take people to low Earth orbit. Mm. Then the space shuttle retired, and the United States could take no one to orbit. So that's the trend. The trend is like down to nothing. This is not... People are mistaken when they think that technology just automatically improves. It does not automatically improve. It, it only improves if a lot of people work very hard to make it better. And actually, it, it will, I think, it by itself, degrade, actually. Mm -hmm. You look at great civilizations like ancient Egypt, and they were able to make the pyramids, and they forgot how to do that. Mm. And, and the Romans, they built these incredible aqueducts. They forgot how to do it. Do you think there is a meaning to life? Well, I think arguably the meaning of life is to understand the nature of the universe <laughs> and figure out what the meaning of life is. So, uh, like I said, I think we don't quite know the right question to ask. And if we, but if we learn more about the universe, if we expand the scope and scale of consciousness, then we are better able to ask the questions about the answer that is the universe. I, mean, I think the. Being a multi-planet species and being out there among the stars is important for uh, the long-term survival of humanity. And uh, that's one reason, kind of like life insurance for life collectively, life as we know it. Um, but then the part that I find personally most motivating is that it creates a sense of adventure and it makes people excited about the future. Um, you know, if you consider two futures, one where uh, we are forever confined to Earth until eventually something terrible happens. Or another future where we are out there on many planets, maybe even going beyond the solar system. Um, I think that second version is incredibly exciting and inspiring. And there need to be reasons to get up in the morning. You know, life can't just be about solving problems. Otherwise, what's the point? The, the value of beauty and inspiration is, is very much underrated, no question. Um, but I want to be clear, I, like, I'm not trying to be anyone's savior. Uh, that is not the... I, I'm just, it, just trying to think about the future and not be sad.